What up, YouTube? AR Platinum. Welcome to episode two of the Jackpot Report. And I've got some big updates for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned. The first thing we'll do is what we'll do every day, and that is review the last day's jackpots to see if any new jackpots have come and there have been. Uh, I do have some new information for you. Let me lock this focus. That should make that a little better. Uh, and I have my tripods. I bought multiples uh, coming uh, today, so that should be good. Anyway, uh, here we go. Let's go over the Texas. And I say Texas because I'm working on getting other states in the jackpot report. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, but we'll start here. Texas, we'll go from high, low, 100 dollar ticket you can see this is an example and if you don't remember uh what this is, is this is going over the jackpot pools and uh i'll do this example real quick basically say you have a ticket that has 10 million tickets 25 tickets per pack you will have 400 thousand packs now if there are four jackpots then there is a jackpot in every hundred thousand packs or so um, so there should be one because they are released in pools. They don't want to accidentally front load all of these jackpots in the beginning because then they got four jackpots they got to pay out on a ticket that nobody wants to buy. So jackpots are uh, spread out evenly-ish uh, in pools. So in this case, it would be from pack one to 100,000, roughly, uh, 100,000 to 200 and so on. Now, sometimes there are printing errors and that causes them to scrap a lot of packs and then they just reprint them at the end. And so sometimes you may have big gaps and misses, but we'll talk about that. Anyway, let's get started with the $100 ticket. Still one of four jackpots. I need to put when that jackpot was found. We'll do that tomorrow. Not a big deal, but I'll put the date there. Uh, yeah, so... Everything's on pace. Uh, let's go to the $50 tickets. Also, I moved these to where they're all in one column, so it might be a little bit easier for you guys to follow along. There's only one jackpot left. It should be uh, in packs 405,000 or higher. Uh, once that is claimed, we'll confirm to see if I was right. But if you really want to play it safe, the last pack that was claimed was 358785. So really anything over that, I think is where it should be. And again, disclaimer, don't go buying tickets because I said so, but uh, use this information as information and uh, you know make your own decisions. Anyway, uh, ultimate three of the four jackpots. Again, just like the other one, I would assume uh, that it would be, you know, any ticket with a pack number higher than 262164. If you don't know where the pack number is, it's on the back of the ticket. Do I have one? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it's this. Ah. It's always fun. Anyway. Um, super dark, of course, but it's that number right there. Sorry about that. Let's do that. There you go. Come on. Focus. There it is. So this ticket. That would be pack 302073. Anywho, moving on. Somebody asked me about that the other day. All right, blowout, two of the four. Now, this is one where I think, you know, if I were looking, that's where I would look between pack 78,000 and 156. On Diamond Riches, the first one was claimed. Everything is going as you would expect it. Let's go to the $30 tickets. Winner's Circle. Now, this one's interesting because the last one that was claimed, the last jackpot, was uh, 16 months ago. Yeah, it's been a while. So, uh, I'm interested. I haven't really paid attention, but I'm interested to see what pack numbers are floating around out there. And... Uh, you know, if the, the pack has been released yet, uh, any of these, if those packs have been released or if we're uh, still looking at all these being in the warehouse. But uh, here's one to keep your eye on, 690 to 805. Uh, cash Celebration. This ticket is closing, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I would expect it to be here. I'll do those updates too uh, as soon as I'm done filming this. I'll put red and the rest of them that are closing. Um, I do believe it is closing though. I'm gonna go ahead and make that one red because I'm fairly certain. All right, uh, Premier Cash, Premier, Premier, 
Premier? I don't know. But what I do know is that I need to fill in the dates. And, uh, well, everything's going as you would expect it. Let's go to the 20s. Now, this gets a little crazy with... Uh, this is Loteria, by the way. It gets a little crazy when you have a lot of tickets uh, that are printed because there's a higher opportunity for them to have printing problems. Uh, so you wind up with this. So I'm interested. I, I think the, the next jackpot or the last one, if we even get to see it, if anyone claims it, will either be here or it'll be way out here. Because if you look, and that's what I think it really is going to be, is going to be down here, um, something higher than uh, 1,049,000, blah, blah, blah. Because um, there's more, <laughs> the pack number that won is higher than the total amount of packs that there should have been. So I think that there was a printing error around here and everything kind of got bumped down. So, anywho. Um, jackpot. This ticket is also closing. Two jackpots left. I don't know. Sales must have really sucked. Cash Craptacular. One ticket. Hasn't had a, a claimer, or not a claimer, but haven't had a jackpot claimed on this ticket since uh, January. It's been nine months, so should be due. But they did make a lot of tickets, uh, 16 million uh, by my estimates. Uh, seeing as what was it, Winter Circle? They made 30, 32 million. Let's go look. 34 million, and that came out in March 2018, I believe. So we're at four and a half years, <laughs> and there's still. Four jackpots left. Um, I expect Cash Crap Tacular, unless they pull it, uh, to be around for about four years and for there to only be, you know, well, maybe not four, maybe three years, but maybe one jackpot every nine months to a year. So it's one of those. They just made a lot of tickets. Uh, Power 200X. That one, they also made not as many, but a, a fair bit more than what you normally see, like $8 million. Uh, But those are going as well uh, as you would expect. So, same thing. Uh, it's been four months since they hit a jackpot. So, yeah, about time for another one. Anyway, Ultimate Sevens, there's only one left. And it's either going to be there or down here. But we'll see. Another thing I'm working on too, it's going to take me another day or so, uh, I will have a percentage somewhere over here probably, it'll probably say percent left, and it'll talk about, uh, it'll show how many tickets have been purchased and what percentage of the tickets are left. Uh, Frenzy, that's also closed. Yeah, I just don't think those sold very well, uh, but I'll look into that anyway. Uh, the Beast, still early. Money. Again, still early, but everything on pace. 500X, same thing. Blowout, none have been found yet. Loteria, the first one, though. I actually need to update this. This is the only new jackpot that they have. Make sure you stick around, though, because I do have some more relevant information uh, coming. So stick around for that in just a second here. But yeah, that is the newest jackpot, and it's from Pool 2. So I have a feeling you will see one with a very low serial number uh, get claimed soon. So if I were playing this ticket, I would look for tickets with pack numbers under 85,000. I think the first, uh, what should have been the first jackpot is out and it is probably in those packs. Uh, $10 tickets, extreme luck, same thing. It's either here and it's, it's out there or it's going to be down here and they had a problem with printing in the very beginning. I'm working on getting a hot list for these kind of tickets, too. So um, I have to do the open records request, which is what the whole update that I'm going to talk to you about is based on uh, that. Anyway, cash word. Everything is on schedule, right? Where you would expect it to be. Same thing with power 100x. Mega Loteria is kind of all over the place, but that's what happens when you have 26 jackpots. So this one's just kind of an experiment to see how it turns out. And then, you know, kind of take a glance back and 
appreciate the craziness that is. Uh, cash celebration. It's going as you would expect it. Same thing with big cash. And that's how most tickets are. As you can see, they're usually, you know, fall in order uh, for the most part. That's why I like having the dates. You can see this one. They were um, the second one was first. And then the first one was second or actually third. Um, so in that case, you know, at 722 after this, they'd already won this one and this one. You could really look back and there was a, a 10 day window where you could have, you know, hopefully gotten an open records request and known uh, where the locations of those packs were and could have went searching. And that's what we're trying to do with this whole jackpot report. And like I said, as we do this every Monday through Friday, uh, specifically Tuesdays being big days because um, nobody can claim tickets on Saturday or Sunday. So if you anyone who won a jackpot on Saturday or Sunday is going down to the claim center today on Monday claiming it and uh, they update the website on Tuesday. So you tend to see a lot of jackpots on Tuesday um, updated compared to any other day, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So I would expect a couple new top prizes to have been claimed um, tomorrow. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Triple Red 7, same thing. Um, cash blowout. Here's one where, you know, we should probably be looking for that jackpot number one. Sevens, none there. And then we'll do our $5 tickets, and then we'll go to the next little screen I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so this one, another one, break the bank. It's either here and we may never find out, or it's going to be down here. Um, and that's kind of where I expect it to be since the winning pack number of, you know, the most recent winner is two fifty one two two, and there shouldn't even be that many packs. So I think this is where they had a printing error and we'll probably see that last jackpot down here. Uh, now $200,000 jackpot. This could be similar, but maybe not, you know, so it'll be interesting to, to see this will go on our hot list right here and we'll, uh, we'll see how that works out for us. Super Loteria. Again, when you've got 30 jackpots, things are kind of all over the place. Power 50 X. These two would be on our hot list. I would be looking for tickets in those ranges of numbers. Uh, poker, oof, hot mess. I don't even want to talk about poker right now. Everything is, it's like nothing makes any sense with that ticket. Super crossword, again, 30 jackpots. Um, or I guess it wasn't 30, was it? Well, let me look into this because this, I... Let me make this all red because apparently I screwed something up. I have to copy and paste a lot. It happens. But we'll come back to that tomorrow. Like I said, it's the first couple of episodes and I got to work some bugs out. But we'll get there. Um, as you guys tell me what you like, what you don't like. And we start to uh, to find things, you know. And then little stuff like this where I forgot. I forget to, to make something green, color code, whatever. Uh, but Bucks and Trucks, this one is closing they just really, it's like they don't want to, they don't want to give away those jackpots. They're already giving away trucks. Um, 30th anniversary. This is another one that's weird. The fourth pool has been claimed, but none of the other ones. And I think a lot of these tickets have been claimed. I, but again, when I go back and I start adding the percentage of tickets left, that's where it'll make sense on a ticket like this where uh, the fourth pool has been claimed. And, you know, if there's like 80% of the tickets are sold, then you're, it's kind of an anomaly, right? You're like, where's the, the other ticket at? Uh, why haven't these tickets been found? Where are they? And that's really what we're trying to accomplish here. Bingo is normal. Speedway Riches, the hot list, that one. So again, 18 to 36,000. And I'll be sending open records requests every couple of days um, so I can get this information to you guys. Um, yeah, Frenzy is the same. That one might also be closing. I need to double check that. 50 times the cash. Yeah, looking for those two. Sizzling hot, still early. Hit 200,000, kind of hot list that one. El Gordo, I would hot list that one. Power Shot, everything's normal. Nothing on Texans or Cowboys. And two of the nine blowouts. So I would be keeping an eye on one and three. Hot list those. 
and Day of the Dead, nothing. But here's what I did want to uh, to talk to you guys about. So, um, you guys have been like, man, I wish my state had this. So I started working on another spreadsheet to give you guys some state information. So this is the big update um, with the Jackpot Report podcast that we're doing. Uh, I'm about halfway through. I've gotten through Montana. I'm working on Nebraska. And I have to finish everything there. So New Hampshire all the way down to uh, Wyoming. Now, before we do that, Utah does not have lottery. I did, also didn't put Puerto Rico in here. I might get to that. Neither does Nevada because, you know, casinos. They don't want the competition. Hawaii and Alaska also do not because they are so far away. And... Uh, Alabama, Bible Belt. So you got Bible Belt and then Alaska and Hawaii. <coughs> Excuse me, dying. Um, Alaska and Hawaii, that's what, what I read was because they're so far away from casinos and gambling in general. There was just no need, apparently. Um, something like that. Anyway, you guys can look it up. But those are the states that don't have it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, here's all the websites. And I'll make this information public to you guys. I'll, I'll make it shareable um, when it's all complete or I'll release it every day or something. Uh, we'll figure that out. The big thing I wanted to talk about, though, um, was open records. And if they show the jackpot pack winners like Texas does. So if you go to Texas, there's some little TI we're listening to. If you go to Texas and you click on the $100 ticket. Okay. Now, when you come to the winners and you click right here, it tells you the pack number. Now, that's what we're trying to figure out with these guys is if any of the other state websites show the pack numbers. And... Um, Currently, the answer is no. Not a single one so far shows the pack numbers. So then the question becomes, uh, well, do they have an open records request? Now, the ones in green, they have dedicated open record request contact forms. That's about a third so far, about one in every three. The other ones have contact us sites uh, like these guys. I just haven't color coded them yet. But they don't have a dedicated um, data, public re records, whatever it is. They don't have those yet. Uh, records request, right? Uh, now, I'm not saying that you can't receive open records requests for those websites. But you have to submit whatever your question is through a general request form. Uh, these other ones, even if it just says pages contact, if I go there, they do have a specific open records request form. Uh, or this one just has a PDF file. And I guess you have to mail that off or something. I can't remember. Kansas. Anywho, uh, the other thing I'm working on here. Let me scroll this over. Okay, that didn't work because I've got things locked. Anyway, um, is the denominations and if they have an app. So apparently the only state that doesn't have an app is uh, Delaware. And then also Michigan. Is it Michigan? I think it's Michigan. No, Minnesota. Delaware and Minnesota do not have apps. Uh, also interesting to see, like some states, well, there's one state, Georgia, has $15 tickets. Um, and a couple of them, one, two, three, four, have $25 tickets. But uh, interesting to see uh, which tickets, denominations that each state has. Anyway, I'm working on all this information for you guys. And then the goal is to get open records requests from every state to see if they will send me the jackpots. Um, actually, I have it copied here. Um, you know, I'm requesting uh, the top prize, the date the top prize was claimed, the name and full address of the retailer, the pack number, and the ticket number. Um, so I'm looking to get that for all active tickets over $5 from every state. So, which is funny because in Arizona, you actually have to tell them if it's for commercial purposes, which technically what I'm doing is, even though I'm not selling you this information, 
by me putting it on YouTube, I am making money off of it. So I actually have to pay Arizona um, for that. And then if you don't, they put you in prison. <laughs> yeah, if you tell them it's uh, for, you know, not for commercial purposes and then use it for commercial purposes and you don't pay, then, uh, yeah, they will arrest you, apparently. So I haven't been able to find that for any of the other ones. I had a column for that that was actually right over here. I deleted it because every other state didn't ask that. But Arizona. So anyway, I'd have to pay for Arizona's information. So I might not be getting information from Arizona all that often, depending on how much it costs. Because you have to pay for the time, the like all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, anyway. So that is today's jackpot report. We had one new jackpot on the new $20 Loteria, and I am putting in some work for you guys to see if I can make the same kind of spreadsheet like this for every state. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a lot of work. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you find these things informative. I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with new jackpots. Some more updated information, more information on all the other states. I do it because I love you, and it'll be a lot less shaky because I'll have my multiple tripods for tomorrow's. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Holla at your boy.